How to use Calendly Easy tutorial for beginners Hi guys, welcome back Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on Calendly How we can simply use Calendly to schedule our appointments, schedule meetings, create events and more So let's get started First what you have to do is you will simply go to Calendly.com and you will land on this platform right here Calendly is a hub for scheduling meetings professionally and efficiently it eliminates the hassle of back and forth email so that you can get back to work. Getting started with Calendly is really easy. What you have to do is you can simply enter your email address right here and click on sign up. There is no credit card required and you can get a free account. Once you sign up, then you will be able to get your own account. I will simply sign in to my Calendly. Once you sign up or sign in to your Calendly, this is where you will get. This is our main home that we get on Calendly. So let me show you around. You can see we have home, availability, integration, help and account. In home, we simply get our event types. This is where we will be creating our event. We can schedule a meeting or an appointment. Then we have scheduled events that will actually show me all of my pending and upcoming events. Then we have workflow and routing forms that we can create within our Calendly. In account, we can simply go ahead and add our billing details, calendar connections. Then we can also get to the admin management and apps. So before we get into creating an event, let's go to availability and let me show you how you set your availability on Calendly for your events and meetings. So we get a list view and a calendar view. So this is a calendar view. Let's go to list view. There you go. Now what I can do is I can simply create a new schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new schedule for my working hours. There you go. Now you can see this is my, you know, schedule. I can simply add different events that I have created and just activate them in this schedule. Then we have our time zone right here. I will simply go ahead and select a time zone. Next thing is going to be selecting the days. So we can select days and we can skip days if we want to. So I have selected Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday business days. Perfect. Now you can see we can actually change the time right here. So my time is actually I work from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. Right. So I will now copy the time and paste it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Click on apply and you will see this time will be applied here. Now, let's say that my time is changed on Friday. So I will simply go ahead and change it. On Friday, I work from 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. There you go. I can also delete an interval or maybe add another interval to my time here. So this is how you simply set the availability. It's really easy. Now we can go back to home. Let's create an event. So to create a new event, you can click on create right here and click on event type or you can simply click on this option which says new event type. Once you select, then we will be able to choose from different options available on Calendly. So we have a one on one meeting. We have group meeting, collective and round robin. Let's create a one on one meeting. So this is where we create an event or a meeting. Simply enter the event name. Let's call it test meeting. Now we can select from location. So in location, we get the option of in-person meeting. This means that I can add an address right here. This meeting is going to be in person. Then I have a phone call option, Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, GoToMeeting, Custom and Ask Inviting. So for now, let's go ahead and select Google Meet because this is where the meeting is going to take place. Then we have to add the description. In description, we can add notes and details for our attendees. Then we have our event link and we can create custom links with Calendly. So this is my link right here. But if I want to customize it, I can just go ahead and do that. Then we can also select an event color just for the sake of customization and creativity. Simply click on next. Now we have more settings. In here, I will be selecting the duration and availability. So we have this test meeting right here. Now we can select the date range. So this is going to be in business days and the meeting is in five business days. So people will actually know that this is how they can schedule. This is for our invitees so that they can also schedule the meeting. 
Then we have duration. In here, we can set the duration of the meetings. So I'm going to go with custom and in custom, I'm going to select hours. This is going to be two hours meeting. There you go. Then how do you want to offer your availability? So now I will select my hours that I added. You can see this is the availability that we created. This is one of the working hours that we created on availability. So that is why I wanted to show you prior to creating a meeting that how to set availability. You can create more than one schedules and you can add them right here. Then we have the reminder option. So let's go for before an event and remind me 30 minutes prior to the event. Perfect. Simply click on next. Now our meeting is actually created and we can also add additional options such as invitee questions. We can ask them to add their name, email address, and then we can add a question. When it comes to adding a question, we can simply add one liners, multiple lines, radio buttons we have checkbox and phone number so this is for kind of like the meetings where you need to ask different questions if you do not want to you can simply cancel similarly we can add workflows notification and cancellation policies for different events that take place or appointments then we also have a confirmation page and collect payment collect payment is good for our webinars and event that require collecting payments so you can simply go ahead and create any type of appointment or a meeting using Calendly very easily. Now, when the meeting will be created, when the time will be right, you will be able to view your meeting page right here. So once your meeting is created, you can simply go back to home and you can see it will be added to the meetings that you have created. Now I can copy the link of my meeting right here and I can share it within my group and with my team so that they can also join the meeting. Similarly, we can enter the email address in order to invite people to the meeting. And this way you will be able to create events that are professional and it will help you save time and get more productive. Similarly, we can add integrations to our Calendly. With integrations, it will help you customize our Calendly experience. And we can integrate any type of calendar to our Calendly. We can integrate HubSpot, MailChimp, PayPal, Slack, Zoom, Zapier, and we can also search by different niches right here. This way, you will actually be able to add all of your favorite applications to your Calendly and set events and appointments easily. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use calendly to schedule your meetings don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel